Hello everyone, today I would like to delve what is IMC again. The Intermetallic Compounds Part 2 Please note that this presentation is a personal sharing, and the content might not be 100% accurate. For more information, you can visit website of mpe.researchmfg.com. So, what is IMC, alloy and eutectic? What are the difference between them? Alloy is a term we encounter often in PCB manufacturing. For instance, SAC305 is an alloy comprising 96.5% tin, 3% silver, and 0.5% copper. But does IMC also fall under the category of an alloy? In my opinion, IMC isn't truly an alloy. Neither is it classified as a eutectic. Furthermore, IMC isn't a pure metal element due to its distinct physical and chemical characteristics that differ from traditional alloys and eutectics. Interestingly, IMC is often grouped as an alloy, sparking the question of why this classification is used. To distinguish between IMC, alloys, and eutectics, let's employ an analogy. Imagine boys and girls as different metal elements. Alloys are like mixing boys and girls in the same classroom, where they coexist evenly. When the boys and girls share an affinity and form eutectic points, it's referred to as eutectic. On the other hand, IMC is akin to a child born from the union of these boys and girls. IMC emerges from a chemical reaction. Please note that while this metaphor may not be perfectly precise, it's a concept and a way to understand the subject better. This comparison is purely illustrative, but it helps to highlight the distinctions between IMC, alloys, and eutectics. Moving forward, we'll continue exploring this subject in more detail. Thank you for joining me for this second video on IMC. In our next session, I'll provide a more comprehensive introduction to alloys and eutectics. Until next time, take care and goodbye.